today's DIY December video, I have another recipe to share with you guys, and it is a cheeseless macaroni and cheese recipe. You're probably wondering, like, how do you make macaroni and cheese without the cheese? Well, it is possible and it's super yummy. So I am going to show you how to make this version of macaroni and cheese. It's still really creamy and you really won't even notice that there's no cheese in it at all. It is awesome and it's one of my new favorite recipes that I've shared with a few people and they really like it as well. So it makes me super happy that people in my real life are enjoying this. On top of myself because of course I think it's good but when other people enjoy it too I'm like yes I hope you guys think this is amazing too and let's go ahead and get started for this recipe you will need some pasta and I am using brown rice elbow pasta I also have raw cashews sliced mushrooms these have been pre-washed a lemon mustard you can use Dijon mustard or regular mustard a clove of garlic cayenne pepper chili powder turmeric some nutritional yeast and you can find this at the grocery store usually in the spices aisle so this is right underneath the spices in Whole Foods for me and then some broccoli I'm going to start off with the broccoli because that takes the longest so I am just going to dump out whoops this little guy is trying to escape over here. So I just have my broccoli on a baking sheet that is lined with tin foil. And I'm going to take some olive oil and just drizzle it over the top. And you want to be fairly generous with it. And then I'm just going to follow up with some salt and some pepper. Now this is optional, but I have some garlic seasoning that I'm just going to sprinkle over the top. I think this tastes really good on top of vegetables as well as different kinds of meat. So it just adds a nice little flavor. My oven has been preheated to 420 degrees and you want to preheat it anywhere between 400 and 450 and I'm going to put the broccoli in for 30 minutes until it's roasted and you can just peek in the oven and tell when it's done because it'll be a really dark green color and it's gonna look crunchy so this is going in here and now we can make the macaroni and cheese so right here I just have a pot of water that I'm bringing to a boil and this is going to be for the elbow pasta. Now I'm going to be using a Vitamix to make the sauce but you can also use a blender that's able to process cashews or nuts in general. I have my cashews here and I am going to need about a cup and a half. Here is the first cup and the half. Then you'll need to add in three fourths of a cup of water. I've squeezed the lemon so I have the juice in this little ramekin here and I'm going to need three tablespoons of the fresh lemon juice. For salt you're going to need one and a half teaspoons. So this is half a teaspoon right here. That's one teaspoon and then one more half like that. I have a fourth of a cup of the nutritional yeast here and this is what gives the sauce the cheesy flavor so this is really important. Dropping in the clove of garlic now. I'm going to get half a teaspoon of the chili powder and add that in as well. And then a half a teaspoon of the mustard. And then last a pinch of cayenne pepper and a pinch of turmeric. So I'm just putting the lid on the Vitamix here and I am going to get ready to mix it all together. And when you're finished blending it all together, you should be left with a creamy sauce like this. So the water is boiling now and I'm going to add in the pasta. I have this pan that's been heating up with a little olive oil in it and now I'm just going to add in the mushrooms. I'm going to cook these until they're tender. So the mushrooms are done now so I'm just going to turn off the heat and let those sit until the pasta is done. The pasta is finished and I drained it and now I'm going to add in the mushrooms. And then I'm just pouring in the sauce. 
this is what it looks like with the sauce added in and now you just want to mix it all together. Now from here you can just eat it straight out of the pot with your broccoli on the side but today we're going to be baking this so I am going to go and put this into a baking tray. I have my greased baking dish here so I am just going to add in the pasta and then I'm just going to spread it out in the tray. And a tip if your sauce is a little bit too thick for your liking you can thin it out with some almond milk. Before putting this in the oven, I have some breadcrumbs that I made in a little food processor. So I just used some gluten-free brown rice bread, but you can also use regular bread for this. You don't have to use gluten-free. But I'm just going to sprinkle this over the top, and this is going to create a nice crunchy topping for the macaroni and cheese. So now this goes into the oven for 30 minutes at 350 degrees. The pasta is out of the oven now, so I'm just going to cut into it and serve it up. And I think it tastes really good with the side of the roasted broccoli. I feel like the flavors really complement each other. And I love roasted broccoli. It tastes awesome. So that is the finished macaroni and cheese. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I will have all of the ingredients down below for you guys. And just remember that you can substitute for regular ingredients. You don't need to use like the brown rice pasta and all of that stuff. So feel free to substitute if you wish to do that. And you know I'm gonna ask you to send in photos. So use the hashtag DIYDecember so I can see photos of your macaroni and cheese because I would love to see it if you make it. You can tweet them to me or post them on Instagram. And Kat is standing right here. And like, she's making me laugh. She like trapped between my light and my camera. So she's like, I'm just gonna stand here. Follow me on Twitter and Facebook because on some days I tweet out early links to my DIY December videos. So you can watch them before they go live on YouTube. So that is the way to get those links if you're interested. And don't forget to enter my PMD giveaway that I posted with my DIY face mask video. I will link that video down below for you guys. But the giveaway is ending soon and there are over 100 PMDs that are going to be given away. And even if you don't win, you can still get 25% off a PMD by using the code Miss Glamorazzi. So make sure you enter. The link to enter will be down below for you guys. And that is going to be it for today and I will see you tomorrow.